good evening. It's uh, June 1st. My wife had someplace she had to be tonight, so Piper and I are going out to see if we can find some pictures. Got probably an hour and a half till sunset. So we're going down towards the Gasconade River on Highway 17 and see if we can find anything down there. So I went to a place that's now marked private property, so I can't go in there anymore. There's a, an overview down here that uh, I used to take pictures at. Okay, I might have found a picture, I don't know. I saw this area right here, I like the fence right there. It kind of looks like a swamp going on back there. I think if I get a nice low angle, it might make a good picture. So I'm gonna set up my camera right here and see what I can get. So here's my composition. I've got a little glare on the, the uh, exposure. It is a 60th of a second at f8. I'm going to focus a third of the way into the scene. So I'm going to look for something contrasting. You can see I got my highlights clipping a little bit over here, but if I bring it down any further, I'm going to do a bracket exposure on this because there's such extreme on the lighting. So I'm going to put my self timer on I gotta check to see if it's level so I'm gonna hit my info button nope it's not so I gotta level my camera here we go so I have it set up to do two stops in between and three exposures so now I'm gonna look back on the back of the camera and I'm gonna hit the play button there's one, two, three. The bright area give me the dark shadows if I need them. The dark area gives me this area so it's not blown out. And then the medium one. That's probably the one I'm going to try to make my exposure. Or I should say my, um, what do I want to say? The one I'll probably edit. I explained to you once before how I set up my camera, but let me do it again. I have, on my camera here, I have a U1 and a U2. The U1 is for landscapes. And what that said is ISO, I always start at F8 and then I make adjustment. Now I'm shooting in manual. And what I normally do, and I didn't do it on my last one, I call it the histogram, there. And I move my highlights over until they're barely touching the side. That's too much, so I'm gonna come back. Piper, out of there. Get out. Stirring up the water. Piper, come on. You're all wet now. I'm glad you did that over there, not by my camera. Okay, so now I have my exposure set right, so I'm gonna do another exposure. Self timer. You can see I focused right there on that little green plant right there. I'm going to do one again. This time I'm going to raise my ISO up just a little bit because there's a slight movement in those limbs. Okay, I'm going to shoot this again. See my shutter speed is a 30th of a second. It might stop those limbs, but I want that a little higher. So I'm going to use the first or the third part of the exposure triangle, which is ISO. So I'm going to increase my ISO. We go 100. So I'm going to increase that. Okay, I've increased it to 800. Now I need to move my shutter speed faster because my highlight is now touching the side there. So let me increase my shutter speed. And now I got 250. That's well worth or should stop every movement. And let's look at that image. Looks pretty good. So let's go find another composition. people down here the rivers up 
but the sun's starting to hit the bluff and I got some dandelions here in front of me. So I'm gonna do a shot of the focus stack on the dandelions and up to the bluff. Okay, so the evening's coming to an end. I took this picture with these dandelions and then um, bluff in the background as the sun was hitting it. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I did a little focus stacking and we'll see. I think Piper's ready to go home. Piper, you ready to go home? Huh? Are you ready? <laughs>